हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सेवन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सेवन इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज दिस सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम विद द यूनिफॉर्मली वेरिंग लोड सो वी कैन सी हियर द लोड इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम वन एंड ऑफ द बीम फ्रॉम जीरो किलो न्यूटन टू दिक्स किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर सो देर इज अफॉर्मली वेरिंग लोड एक्टिंग ऑन दिस बीम सो वेन द लोड इज वेरिंग अलॉन्ग द लेंथ ऑफ द बीम सच टाइप ऑफ लोड is known as the uniformly varying uniformly varying load so in this case we see here a triangular a triangular load is acting on the beam so we see here there is a beam so there is a triangular load is acting on this beam so to find its support reaction i will find it in a very simple and easy method and you can find and you can follow this method to find out the support reactions for any kind of loading on the beams so in this case when there is uniformly varying load like a triangle load so keep in mind first you have to find out the area of the load why i will explain you later so first find out the area of the load so the area of the load is area of load so area of load is basically so area of triangle which is half half base into height now half base is basically this length which is 8 meter multiply by the height which is this one height is 6 so we got here if we multiply this we got here 24 kN so basically area of load is the transformation of the uniformly varying load into pointed load so basically we convert our load to a pointed or concentrated load so now our load will act here at the 24 kN newton and this will act here at the centroid of the triangle which might be here somewhere at this point because if for example if i consider this is a triangle in a triangle so keep in mind its centroid is always here at this point it means if this is the length of the beam for example or length of triangle so the centroid will be from nearer portion it will be 1/3 of l and from far away portion it will be 2/3 of l so this is the centroid in case of rectangle for example if this is a rectangle so in this case the centroid is always half l by 2 here and l by 2 here but in this case in a case of triangle the centroid is always 1 by 3 from one end and 2 by 3 from the far away end so in similar way we have to find out its centroid so now the low 24 kN is acting somewhere here but we don't know this distance this distance is unknown to us and also this distance is unknown to us and we need this distance to find out the support reactions so this distance is equal to the 1/3 of it So one third of eight is equal to the two point six six meter, and the other one will be two third of eight, which will. Um, but we don't need this value basically, so one third of eight is enough for us. This one, so it is two point six six meter, and two third of eight is basically five point. Here five point three three meter. So it is this distance five point three three meter. So now the next step is to use the equilibrium equations to find out the support reaction. So now let's consider. Now let's consider that this one is R A support reaction at a point, and this one is R B because the rotor support is only vertical reaction. It is also one horizontal reaction R A X, but this equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. So now we will use another equations. Let's remove these things. So now here I'm, here I'm using the moment equation. Let's suppose summation of moment at point B equal to zero. So we will find the moment at point B equal to zero, and in this we will find the support reactions. 
so now all the forces that create the movement about point b so one is the this load which creates movement about point b because this will act in upward direction and it will create some movement like in this way about point b in a clockwise direction so let's suppose clockwise is positive and the anti-clockwise is negative this is just the sign assumption so r a is positive clockwise multiplying it with the moment arm because moment is equal to the force multiplied by the moment arm so force is r a r a and moment arm is the distance from r a to point b which is 8 meter here so now this is known to us now the another force that creates the moment about point b is this force which we found out 24 kilonewton So now you, you know that why we found out this load, 24 kilonewton, why we convert the load into pointed load because we need to find out the moment arm and moment. So for this we need the force which is 24, and this one force is acting in anti-clockwise direction about point B. So it will be minus because it's our sign assumption is minus. So minus 24 multiplied with the moment arm, the moment arm is the distance from this B from this B point up to this load which was 2.66 we find out before 2.66 equal to 0 summation of all the forces at point B equal to 0 so now if we shift this wheel into the right side so it will be R A into 8 and it will be equal to the 63.84 so now if we divide this by 8 Simply we will find out the support reactions which comes out to be 7.98 kilonewton which is one is this one 7.98 kilonewton now how to find out the B now this one is more easy how because now simply what we will do here I will simply just use this equation equilibrium equation summation of vertical force is equal to zero and let's suppose upward forces is downward and downward forces are negative this is again our sign assumption so upward forces are r a is acting in upward direction r b let's suppose is also acting in upward direction to take the load so r a is positive r b is positive and then the downward force is only this force which is, is a uniformly varying load and we found out that it is 24 kilonewton so all the vertical force is equal to zero and now we know that this force is known to us which is this one so we will just move this value to the right side 7.98 so rb comes out to be here 16.02 kilonewton so rb is here 16.02 kilonewton so this is support reaction at b point so hope you guys understand how to find out the support reactions for any kind of load keep in mind this equation summation of the moment equation force you need force in your moment arm also keep in mind this equation summation of moment at any point equal to zero you can find out this any kind of reaction and also keep in mind this vertical equilibrium equation you can also use another equation summation of what the horizontal force is equal to zero but not in this case because there is no horizontal force acting on the beam so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.